I try to use this intro when the IB makes me want to cry. Okay, reduction reactions. And reduction, well that's, in this case, adding hydrogen. And how can you do that? Well, you can use hydrogen and a platinum catalyst. There are four that you need to know. You can reduce an aldehyde to a primary alcohol. Those square brackets H means reduction. You can reduce a ketone to a secondary alcohol. Thirdly, you can reduce a carboxylic acid to a primary alcohol. These are the opposite of the hopefully familiar oxidation reactions. And finally, nitrobenzene can be reduced to phenylamine. What reducing agents can be used? NABH4 and then put it in acid? What sort of detail is this IB? I've never seen these chemicals before. I've, got, I've been doing chemistry since I was eight. What are you thinking? Lithium, aluminium, hydride in ether. Now, no one's got any idea how much detail you need to know. But from reading the books, all of these reduction reactions will work using hydrogen and a platinum catalyst. That seems to work for all of them. Let's look at more detail. The reduction of aldehydes and ketones. Well, I've drawn out the carbonyl group that's common in aldehydes and ketones, and I'm gonna reduce it, add some hydrogen, and I pop on a hydrogen next to the oxygen and a hydrogen on the carbon. So let's look at some specific examples. But essentially, the carbonyl bond breaks and hydrogens fit on where they can. So what about an aldehyde? Let's choose ethanol. That's the chemical that gives you hangovers. And that turns to the primary alcohol, ethanol. Well, that's the chemical that you drink that turns to ethanol and gives you hangovers. Let's try a ketone, the simplest ketone. Well, that's propanone. And if I reduce that, I'm going to get propanol. No, you're not. You're going to get propantool. Don't forget to put the number in, because there are a couple of sorts of propanol, and we want propantool. What about the reduction of a carboxylic acid, I hear you cry? What about it? Okay, so let's do it in the... Uh, kind of shorthand format where R is methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, whatever. So the carboxylic acid is reduced to a primary alcohol. Never done that before either. So a potential question, what alcohol is produced from the reduction of butanoic acid? Uh, so that would be butanol. Nope. Butanol. Alrighty. Now actually, when you're reducing carboxylic acids, not only do you add a hydrogen, you also remove an oxygen. Removing oxygen is also reduction. So some more detail that you seem to need to know is that the reducing agent, well, it behaves like a hydride ion, H minus, and that's a nucleophile. Nucleo means positive, nuclei positive, and phile means love, so something that loves positive things. Well, H minus loves positive things. So what's positive in a carboxylic acid? Well, that carbon's positive, because the oxygen has attracted the electrons away from that carbon, making it a little bit positive. And so that hydride nucleophile can move on in. Don't forget to draw electron pairs with nucleophiles. And another piece, and this bit really to my mind is just useless. I don't know what the IB are thinking. The reduction of nitrobenzene to phenylamine in a two-step process. Really, okay, so let's do nitrobenzene. The benzene is the hexagon. And nitro group is NO2 you got to add seven acids and six electrons. How am I ever going to remember this to teach it? I think I'm going to have to make a little cheat sheet. 
And what happens there, you ask? Well, the NO2, the nitro group, turns to NH3+, and a couple of waters. What is it that's producing, what is it that's providing the electrons, I hear you cry? It's the tin. Of course it's tin. The second step is where you take that product, add hydroxide ions, probably sodium hydroxide, that rips off the H plus from that ammonium part of the molecule. And so now that H plus has gone, the NH3 plus turns to NH2 and some water. All right, let's label some stuff. So the tin provides the electrons, of course it does. You have to reflux the top reaction. This is called the phenyl ammonium ion and you've just made phenyl amine. Oh, newsflash. I really think this is pretty useless chemistry to be honest.